In February 2019, voters in the Burlington Edison School District will be asked to consider a $98.3 million capital facilities bond to address critical safety issues, increase middle school student opportunities, and ease overcrowding. The school board approved the proposal after reviewing years of work from two committees, professional consultants, community surveys, and interviews with students, staff, and community members. Burlington Edison schools currently exceed their design capacity by more than 370 students, and enrollment is expected to increase by another 250 over the next six years. With 42 portables already in place, there is no room to add additional units to ease the overcrowding. The newest of the BE schools is now more than 15 years old. With the addition of full-day kindergarten and a growing student body, there is not enough classroom space to reduce class sizes, even though the legislature provides funding to do so. Safety is another key concern. The bond proposal calls for improving security at all of our schools, including limiting and controlling access to all school buildings. The proposed projects for the capital bond are $72.9 million for construction of a new middle school for 7th and 8th grade students, $10.7 million for upgrading food service facilities and a gymnasium addition at Westview Elementary, $9.5 million for classroom additions and security and safety improvements at Burlington Edison High School, $3 million to relocate Burlington North Alternative High School and $2.2 million for safety, security, and site improvements at all elementary schools. Although the K-8 through system has been a long-standing tradition in our district, we have five grade schools scattered throughout the area and can't offer middle schoolers the same opportunities and electives as found in neighboring districts. Building a middle school will eliminate inconsistent elementary school transitions and provide a dedicated facility with specially designed spaces for science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. The new facility would create the space needed in elementary schools to lower class sizes, expand programs, and accommodate the coming growth in enrollment. At Westview Elementary, the bond would provide an upgrade to its food service facilities where currently lunch must be transported daily into a portable classroom pressed into service as the school's cafeteria. Westview would also get an addition to its undersized gym. Burlington Edison High School would get additional classroom space as well as design improvements to upgrade security and better control building access. Safety and security improvements would also be made at all five elementary schools and Burlington North Alternative High School would be relocated because the new middle school is designated for that site. These tables reflect the tax rates associated with all district levies and bonds, including this proposed bond. The board deliberately waited until the previous capital bond was paid off before submitting a new one to the voters. Compared to current combined tax rates, our community should actually observe a decrease in the local educational taxes. That's due to the retirement of current bonds and levies, as well as the restructuring of educational funding at the state level resulting from the McClary decision. For the next four years, the combined average tax rate is projected to be $3.46 per $1,000 of assessed value. For a home assessed at $300,000, that would be $86.50 a month. You can find out more information about the Capital Facilities Bond by visiting our district website and also information about the upcoming public forums. And remember to send in your ballot by February 12th.